final segment of the show today, I want to talk about um, a rare blend of talent. And when I say a rare blend of talent, I want to talk about the things that engage human beings in being passionate and being motivated and being engaged in what they do. And when I work with HR departments, I often talk about there's three things leaders have to balance and take into consideration when you're understanding how to motivate and engage people. And here are the three things. What are the things that the, are, that the person's going to do as part of their job that they are truly passionate about? That's number one. Number two, what are the things that they're naturally gifted at that it's like eating, sleeping, and breathing. They don't even have to think about it. They're just really good at it. It's natural for them. And the third piece is what I call the have-tos, which are, it's part of the job. You know, you have to do this. It might be mundane. It might be boring, but it's just part of the job. You can't get away from it. And what got me thinking about this topic is I have an intern working for me right now. And he posed the question to me. I, I, I checked in with him the other day, and I go, how do you like what you're doing? He goes, well, I like some of it, but I don't like all of it. And I, I, I explored. I said, what is it that you don't like? He shared it with me. And it got me thinking. There's a lot of buzz right now around generational engagement. Uh, in our multi-generational intelligence training, we talk about how to engage people. But it's not just millennials. You know, again, millennials get pigeonholed. It has nothing to do with the millennial thing. It has to do with how to motivate and engage people. And we've created something called uh, an, uh, an employee motivation portfolio. And the employee motivation portfolio captures two critical things. The first one it captures is when you interview someone that you eventually hire, what you're doing with that information, when you learned about that person in the interview, you learned about their likes, their dislikes, their strengths, their weaknesses. You record that information and you reference it in the employee motivation portfolio. Because as you're evaluating that hire, as you're assessing how to connect and engage and build that relationship, you look back. And most companies throw it away. They take notes and they hire them. And what do we have as an employee file? We have their, their records, the paperwork they have to fill out, their application, their resume, things like that. But we don't have the things that really matter, which are the things that motivate them and you'll connect with them. So that is the first part of the employee motivation portfolio. The second part is the things we just talked about. As you're working with that employee onboarding, certainly in the first 90 days, but certainly as the relationship expands, when you're asking them, what are things that you love to do? What are things that you're passionate about? You're recording those in the employee portfolio. So when it's time to recognize performance, when it's time to do employee reviews, this is the time you pull out the employee motivation portfolio and you read, well, you know what? This person isn't motivated by money. This person would be motivated by a promotion. This person would be motivated by a week off with their family. This person would be motivated with job shadowing so they can learn how to develop additional skills. And we can't motivate everybody the same way. Human beings think about what am I good at, what do I like, and what do I have to do that I don't want to do? And that's how we have to connect with them and understand on their terms that it's the same as our terms. We're no different. So the idea with the employee motivation portfolio is to be gathering information during the tenure of their company. It could be digital, it could be printed, it could be both. And I don't care if it's as informal as a white piece of notepad paper you put in their file that literally all you do is after a conversation, if you just learn something new that they're passionate about or motivated or desire to learn, you just make a note on the piece of paper. It doesn't have to be fancy.